Hello and welcome guys. Today we will understand about the cancellation request of payment. So let's get started. Topic today's is cancellation request of a payment. So what does this cancellation request of a payment means? The name itself means that uh, let's say a central bank has sent a payment and, and 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 they just realize that okay this is not the payment they had to do and they just want to cancel it but the message has been already released that is MT103 or MT202 whatever it is. So in that case how do you cancel? The payment request which has been already initiated so we will understand this case uh, we will just understand this case with a direct and cover scenario because uh, with just a direct payment or serial payment it will be quite easy to understand but uh, with direct and cover the complicated scenario I'll just cover it so that it will be easier for everyone uh, who is involved to watch this video so let's get started first of all let's understand this MT192 MT192 is nothing but the uh, message sent by the sender financial institution to request the receiver financial institution to consider the cancellation of the SWIFT message identified in the request. So MT192 is what they use for the cancellation request. Alright, so now let's get started. Uh, with an example right we will take a direct and cover scenario let's take a popular example uh, Ram is here now Ram has account in let's say in this case we have city India city I N triple X Bombay triple X whatever it is And he wants to transfer a fund to his friend, let's say, uh, who is living in USA, having holding account in Standard Central Bank, US 33 triple X. And here is our Sam. This is MT103. Since it is a direct and cover, and the cover payment flows via let's say we have a bank over here, then this bank is about Bank Bangalore, India, Triple X, and then. This is MT202 cover. Let's say one more intermediate bank is involved over here. And this bank is, let's say, chess US33 three, three triple X. And assuming this is ACH CSM, and finally the fund gets settled here. Right. So this is one on direct and cover payment. Now Citibank, City India, Bombay Bank or the Ram wants to cancel the payment. So you will instruct to the bank and the bank will send MT192 message. MT192. So MT192 will be sent for the original MT103 payment for the cancellation. Now how the cancellation will flow down is as soon as it receives MT192 message. So MT192 first of all can be sent directly from City uh, India Bombay Triple X to SBL US because they have the RMA relationship. It doesn't need to go pass through the intermediate banks. Only the fund will be flowing from here. Right. 
So MT192 can be directly passed. Now on receiving MT192 message by the CBL US 3 x bank, what it will do is it will return the payment on on the customer's request that is the cancellation request, right? And it will send the MT202s, MT202 refund basically uh, from from the uh, banks involved in it. So here in this case, so here it, it will send MT202 t202 return and from chess us from chess us mt202 return and then finally it will send one another mt202 return so two things which we need to uh, consider here that is MT192 and MT202 uh, return. So let's understand that. Right. So let's understand both the messages. So assuming in MT103 it has used tag as M20 as MT103 O R I G. Now we will understand both of it MT192 and MT202 return. So let's understand MT192. So in MT192 we will have all those information as required in block 1 and then block 2. I don't want to go into deep in this one because we have already done so many on this. We will go only for the main text block. So in block 4, it will start with the 20, that is the transaction reference number. Now this MT192, again, I'll just make it clear. It has been sent from city, city in uh, India to whom? SCBL. SCBL US 33 X. So that's just to be clear. 20 is the transaction reference number for this MT192. It can be like anything. MT192 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 21 is very important here. This will be the related reference number. That is the uh, the reference number of the original MT103. That is nothing but this, uh, this one. 20 of the MT103 that is MT103 ORIC now followed by 11S now what is 11S here 11S is the message type of the original message that is MT103 if it was MT202 it would have been 202 so 103 now followed by the date 20 one thirteen zero eight. Let's say this payment study to A was twenty one thirteen zero eight. So the same date will be used over here. Now next thing is very important tag seventy nine. This is narrative description used over here in MT one nine two, and it will have some very important uh, you know communication saying that uh, request for the cancellation of the original MT one zero three transaction reference. So it will just write 35 into 6 character I believe request of cancellation for original MT103 and it will mention the reference number that is nothing but the uh, MT103 ORIG right and that is how it will close it and then yeah, and then tag 5 will start here like this and then it will be closed. So this is how the MT192 being sent from the city India Bombay XXX to the SCBL US 33XXX. Now as I said MT202 return will uh, you know, move the funds right? if it has been already received via this initially and then the fund will flow down via the MT202 return. Now MT202 return 202 return here 
let's say uh, I'll take the first M202 return that is from where SCBLUS to CHAS CHAS US. So this is the first M202 return and then again right so we will have the block 1 block 2 will be there block 3 will be there and finally block 4 it will start with the 20 transaction reference number let's say MT202 original again here 21 will be there the related reference number right so related reference number is very important that is the original MT202 MT103ORIG because we are returning the original MT103 payment amount so here 32A will be there then uh, 52A will be there in this case 52A is nothing but the uh, central institution that is CBO US33 triple X and 58A will be there 58A is nothing but in between uh, non-mandatory tax will also be there since it is moving from here so here 53A will be there since the correspondent is chess US 33 triple X 56A or 54A can be used for this parking so B A R C I N triple X and then finally 58A the beneficiary institution is City India City India Bombay triple X and then followed by the very important tag that is our 72A 72A I'll just cover here it will be easy for everyone to understand so 72A here it will start with the RTRN since it is a return followed by the original reference number of MT103 that is MT103 original and then followed by the reason code let's say this is like uh, no, since, since it is a customer cancellation we have a defined rule uh, uh, reason code for that C U S T and here you have to mention the reason customer cancellation and the next line can be do you know the foreign exchange rate F X followed by U S T amount let's say it is thousand dollar and then followed by exchange rate let's say it is 80 rupees international rupees and then it will be closed the block 4 and then block 5 will start and so on so this is the entire process of a cancellation of a request and entire uh, validation that happens and the message format and the region codes this is all about the cancellation of a request of a payment and the process of it into a direct and cover payment Thank you guys for watching this video.